Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be building a, a NAS. Now, I already have a NAS, which is a Synology NAS, which I covered not long ago. Uh, but Icefail actually reached out, and they're the ones that make the Zimmer board, uh, and asked me to review the Zimmer blade. Now, I think the best way uh, to review something like this is to make a NAS out of it. It's something I haven't covered, and I think it's a pretty cool topic to uh, cover. So what we're going to do, we'll set this up, we'll take it out, we'll unbox it, and we'll set it up uh, with two hard drives that I have, which I'll show you in a second. And then we're going to install Unraid on it. Now, Unraid is a NAS OS that I haven't actually covered yet either. So that's going to be good to look over. So let's just see what we're dealing with here. So we've got the Zimmer Blade here, which is the, the main brain of our NAS. So the Zimmer Blade itself, we can go over some of the specs here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so the processor here, if it wants to focus, is an Intel Celeron Apollo Lake. Uh, so this is the four core, so it's a quad core. This does come with PCI Express. I think the, uh, the <laughs> I think the, the labels on here are throwing the camera off. Uh, it's got some USB ports. It does have LAN, which is good, which is giga. Uh, but, and it does support up to two HDD or SSD drives, which is perfect for the small NAS that we're going to make. And also, you know, just a Type-C power supply. You can find more information about the Zimmer Blade um, below in the description. I'll have a link to their store and information about it. So let's pull it out and see what we've got. So we have a little letter from the team over at the Zimmer Blade. User manual. Very good. Just your typical explanations around how to use it and how to get started. Now, this comes with their base uh, operating system, which is CASA OS. Now, I don't, I'm not going to be using CASA OS, so I'm not going to need any of this kind of get started guide because uh, we're going to be wiping that OS and installing our NAS OS, which is Unraid in this case. And there you go. So it's actually pretty sweet, right, for a single board. It looks great. And you can see that there's room here for RAM expansion, and I do have expansion, so I'm going to put that in there as well. As you can see, the ports here. So, so we've got mini display, Ethernet, your USB and your power. And then on the side, it does have a PCIe uh, slot on the side as well, which is sweet. And then on the other side, we've got the SATA ports and also the power as well. And they've sent a cable that kind of uses this and utilizes it so we can use and plug in those hard drives uh, nice and easy. And in the box, we've got the SATA cable and we also have a USB-C to USB-C. Right, so that's the Zimmer Blade. Uh, I'll just put this box somewhere. Now, the drives that we're going to be using with the Zimmer Blade, I grabbed two Western Digital 3 terabyte drives. Now, these are purple, so these are essentially made for like a surveillance uh, setup. So, you know, 24 7 recording. They didn't have any NAS drives at that day that I went in uh, at my local store that I go to, but that's fine. Uh, from what I've read, surveillance drives are, are fine as well. Um, it, everyone has their own opinions on drives and stuff. But for one, the, I already have a main NAS. This is mainly just to showcase setting one up and, you know, setting up the drives and stuff. And these should be just fine. And as part of the Zimmer Blade uh, package, the NAS package that they have, uh, you also get the shell here. So you've got a slot for the Zimmer Blade to sit in. And you've also got, you know, a bay here for two drives. So this is where everything is going to uh, live. And we've got the power adapter here with many adaptions. So uh, one of these should be good for New Zealand. So, right. So what we will do, let's get the Zimmer Blade and we'll get the memory added in here. So the extra 16 gig. Right, so opening up the Zimmer Blade is pretty straightforward. This shell comes off and then we just need to unscrew these four screws. Right, it was actually only the top two that needed to be undone. So they're all undone. And as you can see now, we can see where the RAM is going to go. So this is the memory uh, that they also sent to as part of the NAS kit. So 16 gig, let's get this out. All right, and we'll get that installed there just like that. Should be sitting there nicely. And then slot down, just like that. And there we go, we've just added 16 gig, which is awesome. And just like that, it's all back together and now we have our extra memory. So like I was saying before, all of this is pretty much just going to sit on top of the case and we can feed the SATA cables down here to the drive. So let's get the drives added into the this bay now. And there you go. They're all sitting in there pretty. So now let's get the Zimmer Blade on top and get the cables plugged in. So you've seen that it came with a SATA cable in the box. The NAS kit also comes with this one here. So it's pretty much supports, it's just like one full cable, but it supports your two drives for you. And the power is all just run by this one cable here. So it all kind of just works nicely. Right, so that's plugged into the Zimmer Blade side there. As you can see, run nicely in. Now we just need to plug this little power one in here. So this power will power the two drives, which is great. So you can see this is pretty much what it's going to look like. 
We've just got the zoom blade on top and the two drives below. And that's what the back looks like. It's not too messy at all. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is now that we've got the NAS pretty much all set up, I'm going to get Unraid installed on a USB and then, yeah, we'll plug it in and we'll get that all set up. So we're going to get Unraid installed and I've got the uh, USB here that we're going to install it on. Now Unraid isn't actually something I'm really familiar with at all. I haven't actually installed it before, so this is all going to be a first time. I am aware that it is a paid bit of software to use. Uh, so it's kind of just going to be my way because I have reviewed like Open Media Vault and TrueNAS and this is just another one that I'm keen to have a look at and you know we can have a look and just see is it really worth it over the other two that I've already reviewed. I think it's just something good to cover and since it does come with that trial why not right. And also before we do jump to installing this on the USB I just wanted to mention that I have a merch store now uh, which is just store.techdocs.nz uh, feel free to go check out some hoodies some shirts uh, there's beanies some caps and stuff like that i really like the designs that have come out the mascot looks awesome uh, let me know uh, what you think of it as well uh, just comment you can also jump into the discord as well uh, and there's all the updates happening there we have a merch giveaway happening as well so if you're keen on some free merch jump to the discord as well and enter that competition so this is the Unraid website. So you can see here on the right hand side, kind of like a view of what it's like. It looks pretty nice. Like there's some other NAS software out there that's pretty bare metal, you know, just straight to the, the point. And to be honest, that's not a bad thing. But this one also really has looked like, you know, this spent a bit of time on uh, designing this. Anyway, you can see in the top right hand corner, there's free trial and buy now. I'm assuming I can just click free trial. And it's got here, so download the uh, USB creator for Mac OS. Awesome. Okay, so it will just create the USB for us. And I can allow that to download. And it's already downloaded, so I'll just double click that. Great, so that is all open. So I'm just going to drag Unraid Creator over into Applications. If it's going to let me drag, there we go. Okay, great, there we are. So I'm just going to plug in my USB drive now. Great, so I've just plugged that in. So what do we want? We want, I will allow that. So do, we want the stable. Stable is always good, and it's going to be 400 and 38 megabytes so it looks like you can go always uh, go at least one version down so we might as well go with the latest server name uh, tower is by default uh, yeah why not let's just call leave it as tower uh, network mode DHCP or static IP now I would probably like to give it a static IP but since I'm just testing it around I'm gonna give it DHCP but your NAS server should always have a static IP because imagine if it changes the IP address all of your you know your drive mappings and stuff like that on all of your computers like the network shares the IP changes bummer that sucks right you're gonna to have to uh, reset it all up and we've got the USB drive here and we can see that is the one we want and now we can write the image so let's hit write and it's just gonna ask us if we want to raise everything that is fine we just let it do its thing. So it's going to download it itself and then it's going to install. That download speed is terrible. Now, if you've seen my previous video, you know I, I have no problems with my download speed. So I guess this is just their server. Right. So that has been done. So it's all written to the USB now. We now have our USB. It's here. It's all ready to go. So I'm going to plug it into the Zimmer Blade. I'm going to have to power the Zimmer Blade and boot to the USB. So I'm just going to sort all that out. I don't really need to capture that. But then I'll come right back and we'll connect to Unraid and we can go from there. Right. If I'm being honest, I thought we were kind of screwed there for a second uh, because let me show you. So this here is the Zimmer Blade, of course. Uh, sorry about the green screen making things weird. But there's actually only one USB, right? So I couldn't like go and plug the USB in and a keyboard and then boot from USB. Luckily, I just disabled all of the boot devices that were there and and now it looks like it's uh, the screen's sideways. <laughs> but uh, now it looks like it's detected Unraid and it's all starting up now. So hopefully we should be able to hit it now. Right, so coming back to Unraid now. So if we have here, it will say before you begin, you need to do the following. And that just made me realize I don't have an Ethernet cable plugged in. So let me quickly do that. <laughs> Great, so the Ethernet's plugged in now. So now it's saying if we just go to tower.local, we should hit it. So providing that the Zimmer Blade's all good, uh, it's got the Ethernet all working now, and, we sh and it's booted from the USB like we've seen before, we should be able to hit this. So let me copy this, open up a new tab, we'll paste that in, and we'll hit enter. Great, okay, that is a bit of a relief to be honest. So we've hit the tower now, and again, tower is what we named it, remember? So that's what uh, that's why we see this here. So now we're going to set a password for our root user and that's done so now we will hit and right so we've got something on the top right hand so let's unleash your hardware choose an option below and then get started okay so start free 30-day trial oh it's just popped up twice okay that's fine it's saying here we're unregistered the flash vendor so i believe with unraid that the usb just stays in all the time because that's what contains the config 
for everything that's going on. I believe that to be the case. I don't know why you just couldn't install it on uh, another dedicated drive if you had one. Maybe you can, I guess we'll find out. So I'm gonna go start free 30 day trial. And now we're going to set up an account it looks like. Let me just make this a bit bigger for you. And we'll go sign in or sign up. And we can create an account. And there we go. So we've just made our account. Right, so what have we got? Start your 30 day free trial. A trial key provides all the functionality of a tri uh, pro registration key. Great, so we can hit confirm. And hopefully this will just take us straight in there. So please keep this window open. Your free trial provides, like it said, it gives us everything we need. Right, it looks like we're all in. So coming back down here, it's saying that we want to assign devices uh, to the array and pool. So assign devices in the main tab of the Unraid uh, web GUI. So here's main. So if we click there. So now we're in the main tab, we can set up our devices. So I guess what we're going to do here is assign one disk as normal, right, to be used as our everyday use and storing all the data on, which can be SDB, and then we'll set one for parity. So I believe what this will do is this will be our drive that's like our, our redundancy drive, right? But if we lose one drive, then the one that's in parity will become the main disk and then you can replace the broken one if I believe that to be correct. Right, so that's all we should need. So now we have our parity drive, which stores all the information that it needs to repair any disk that fails. Uh, and disk one will be our main disk where everything is stored. So I think that works perfect. So now uh, we can also see our boot device will always be this USB flash device here. So you're essentially nominating a USB drive for that. Again, I don't know why that has to be a flash drive. Maybe in the comments you can explain to me why that's the case, or I could probably just Google it. <laughs> anyway, what it says here is start will record all disk information, bring the array online and start parity sync. The array will immediately be available, but unprotected until the parity sync completes. Okay, that's fine. So let's hit start. And it's going to say that the parity disk or disk content will be overridden. That's fine. Let's hit proceed. Uh, all brand new disks anyways. And since these are brand new disks, I'm just formatting here. So you can see that it's currently formatting. Right. So that looks like it's all come up. So we can see now that we have 2.98 terabytes free. So essentially, this should be the base core of our NAS setup. So we can see now that we've got shares. So if we come into shares, it looks like we might have some like default ones maybe. And we can add a share here if we want. We can create some more users if we want. I'm going to do this because at the moment we just have the root user. We technically don't want to just use a root user for everything. General settings. Uh, we've got some plugins here. And I believe the plugins for Unraid is pretty good. We've got plugins here if you ever want them. Docker, which is great. So we can deploy containers from here as well. So not only can it act as a NAS, we can de deploy containers on top of it and then use that storage that it has for some VMs, I mean some containers. But VMs aren't out of, out of the question either because under VMs, you can see here as well. We can add a VM if we wanted to, select the OS, the distro, and we can deploy it from here as well, which is pretty sweet to have that all just in one user interface. We've got some apps here as well. So uh, if we click install, we can probably see what sort of apps we have here. Right, so there's just tools straight out of the box if you want to use. We've got image, we've got um some chat services the unify services here and i'm assuming this is a bunch more yeah you got a bunch of downloaders we've got backup yeah there's just <laughs> there's a bunch of tools here and it looks like it's really straightforward to install these which is awesome and then you've got your general tools as well i guess yeah we're going to update we can do the diagnostics and all of that good stuff as well and then yeah back on the dashboard we just get an overview of everything so here we go we can see the processor doing its thing and it's handling that load pretty well it seems we can see that we again we have those four default shares so let's maybe have a look at creating a share and mounting it onto my mac so let's go to shares we'll go add a share we'll call this uh tower underscore share we can leave pretty much all of these as default which should be fine and let's click add share and before we can actually connect to a share, obviously we have to create a user. So I guess we'll just click add a user. And sorry that this is all over the place. This is my first time with Unraid. So I guess we'll just work through this together, right? So the username, we'll call this TechDocs. And we'll set a password. And we'll add. And that should create that for us. Right, so back under users. Okay, cool. We can see that TechDocs user. So now let's try and connect to the share. Right, so now I've got my user. Let's try uh, connect to this. So if I go to uh, go and then connect to a server, this is on Mac OS, of course. I've got the box here. So we've got SMB and then the IP address of our Unraid NAS. So now if I hit connect, and I don't really need to define the actual share because I only have one, so it should just automatically find it. So if I hit connect, and 
there we go. So now we have tower underscore share. You can see we're connected into it. And I don't know if you can see at the bottom, but it says 2.96 terabytes available. And now I should be able to create new folders in here, which I can. I can move data just like that. Now, I know that this was pretty all over the place. I haven't used Unraid before. It's my first time. But not using their documentation and just seeing what was in front of me to create and connect to a share, it's pretty straightforward. And, you know, the user interface is really nice. And there's so much room uh, for growth here. You can see the VMs. There was the Docker support. Uh, the Creating users and managing users seemed really straightforward and easy. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to maybe looking further into Unraid. The main thing for this video was really building that NAS, having a look at the Zimmer Blade, how it performs. And if you're keen on getting yourself one, a link will be in the description below. Uh, just wanted to say a big thank you to Icewell for sending that out as well. That was awesome to review. I also have their Zimmer board as well, and I've been using that daily for ooh, a while now. So if you have any questions around the NAS, if you'd like to see more of Unraid, or if you think maybe let's try something else, let me know in the description. We'll jump into the Discord. Let's have a conversation around it. But I think that was such a cool DIY NAS. And now I'm a little sad that I went out and brought a Synology <laughs> NAS when uh, you can just go and make one just like this, install something like Unraid on top, and away you go. Um, but yeah. That's just the way it works. Uh, I am happy with my Synology now. So, but yeah, thank you so much for all the support. Also, thank you if you do end up checking out my new merch. Uh, let me know if you do. It's awesome. Uh, if you send some photos and stuff out there, that'd be awesome to see in the Discord. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.